after reading the statement, as always, we will have a question and answer session. But at this moment, I would wish to invite uh, the Deputy Governor to uh, issue the monetary policy statement. Thank you, Director of Communications. Um, I'm pleased to present to you the monetary policy statement for July 2022. At the Extraordinary Monetary Policy Committee MPC meeting held in July 2022, the Bank of Uganda increased the central bank rate, CBR, by one percentage point to 8.5 percent. Inflation continues to rise, largely influenced by external cost pressures stemming from higher global food and energy prices, persisting global production and distribution challenges, as well as rising domestic food crop prices due to dry weather across the country. The annual headline and core inflation rose to 6.8% and 5.5 percent in June 2022, up from 6.3 percent and 5.1 percent in May 2022, respectively. Um, inflation is forecast to peak in the second quarter of 2023 before gradually declining to stabilize around the medium term target of 5% by mid 2020 by 2024 and this is of course premise on the fact that in 2022 uh, the inflation was slightly higher than the 7.2% and 6.1% that were projected in June 2022 a forecast round the inflation outlook is significantly uncertain with the balance of risks tilted to the upside, including global inflationary pressures amidst persistently higher world food and energy prices, a faster shilling depreciation as advanced economies raise their policy rates to control escalating inflation, higher prices in the global markets that could further increase the demand for foreign exchange, US dollars in particular, required to purchase about the same quantity of goods which may further weaken the shilling. Potential worsening of disruption of global production and distribution due to stringent controls of COVID-19 outbreaks, especially in Asia. Higher domestic food crop prices due to the effect of prolonged dry weather conditions on food harvests. The downside risks include weaker domestic consumption and investment as higher inflation reduces consumers' real incomes and tighter financial conditions constraining private sector access to funding. And finally, escalation of global inflationary pressures could is much faster than currently assumed, resulting in a decline in imported inflation. The June 2022 preliminary GDP estimates by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics, that is UBOS, indicate that the economy grew by 4.6% in the financial year 2021 stroke 2022 from a revised growth rate of 3.5% in the previous year. The economic growth was largely driven by private investment despite imports far exceeding exports. On the production side, the industry and services sector were the main drivers of growth, with some of the services sector activities such as education and trade recovering. However, Households and business ex expectations about economic developments have grown more tepid, and the global economic outlook is slightly or is highly uncertain. Indeed, the Composite Index of Economic Activity, known as the CIEA, 
a, a high frequency indicator of economic activity continues to signal a slowdown in the pace of economic recovery in the second half of the financial year. The composite index of economic activity growth in the three months to May 2022 decelerated to 0.9% from 2.1% in the three months to February 2022. Overall, economic activity is projected to remain modest as the shocks to commodity prices, production and distribution disruptions, and global inflation continue to dim the prospects for domestic economic growth. Economic growth is still projected in the range of 4.5 to 5% in 2022 and rising slightly to 5 to 5.5% in 2023, in part supported by public investments. Weaker external demand, high domestic inflation, and resultant tighter domestic financial conditions will constrain exports, consumption, and investment. The risks to growth outlook, which are tilted to the downside, include weaker global growth, escalation of geopolitical conflicts, heightened global economic uncertainty, and higher inflation. Other downside risks are a further decline in consumer confidence, heightened exchange rate volatility, and weakening investor optimism. Nonetheless, in the medium term, the economy is projected to grow in the range of 6.5 to 7 percent, supported by public and private investments in the oil sector. While the inflationary pressures are likely to be temporary, the MPC assessed that a markedly higher policy rate is needed to stabilize inflation around the medium term target. Accordingly, the MPC raised the CBR to 8.5% and maintained the ban on the CBR at plus minus two percentage points. The margins on the CBR for the rate discount and the bank rate remain at three percentage points and four percentage points respectively. Consequently, the rate discount and the bank rate are now at 11.5% and 12.5% respectively. The Bank of Uganda also increased the cash reserve requirement by two percentage uh, points to 10% effective 23rd June 2022. The MPC considers that the monetary policy stance will have to be tightened even further so as to ensure that inflation is as back to the target in the medium term. Uh, thank you very much. That marks the end of the statement. Thank you so much, uh, Deputy Governor. And as promised, um, the viewers and uh, those joining us, we now head straight to the question and answer session. So feel free to send in your requests to ask the questions. And as you have heard, the central bank has increased the CBR to 8.5%. But as you have heard also, the cash reserve requirement uh, has in been increased to, to 10%. And in conclusion, if we can emphasize uh, the tightening of the monetary policy stance um, has been well emphasized. So online we have uh, Sam Setumba from NTV. 
uh, ask you a question, please. Some we, are not, some we are not hearing you. You can speak a little bit louder. Some, I think we have uh, some challenges. Kind of hold on. We, we are trying to sort out some IT issue. Then you can come in again and ask. OK, you can now go on. Mr. Setumba. I think we have lost him. Can we have another? Somewhere you can type in the chat, you can post your question on the chat. Hmm. In the meantime, we can receive the other questions from other media houses or I have put my question in the in the in the, in the, in the chat. So you can see them. Okay, we, we, we can we can see them, but since we can hear you properly, you can ask. All right. Yes. Um, what did the statement mean when uh, the governor said that um, uh, confidence is tepid? Just want to get more flesh on that. And then there is uh, if the U.S. economy suffered a recession, as it is being predicted, what would that mean? for us as an economy in Uganda. And finally, there are assertions that the oil prices might be forced on the down when there's a recession. What's, what's the take of the governor on that assertion? 
Thank you, Samuel. Over to you, Governor, sir. Um, thank you, Samuel. Let me take on the question of um, procession and then the tepidness I will hand over to EDR who actually collects data on that. Um, look, the U.S. economy right now is, um, is, is struggling to, to see how to bring inflation back to its, um, uh, to, to its medium-term objective. And that means that the U.S. is going to continue tightening its monetary policy. And what we have right now, the indications are that um, they are likely to raise the Fed uh, rate to about 3.5, also about by the end of the year, and possibly to around 4% next year. So what that means is that it is certainly going to raise the cost of doing business, and it might affect the, uh, the, you know, the growth of the economy. So it never means that as they raise their federal uh, uh, rate, it is um, making it uh, better for the, for, the, uh, for the holding of the U.S. financial assets, implying that if you have some portfolio players who are in our country and they are looking to see how to make profits, then they are likely to reposition and uh, to prefer holding maybe the U.S. Uh, financial assets. So unless, of course, we work on the, the interest rate differentials in order to maintain them here, we could see a capital, uh, we could see a portfolio flows reversal um, uh, back into the advanced economies and hence giving pressure on the exchange rates of emerging and frontier economies. So the tightening of the U.S. monetary policy is going to have implications for emerging and frontier economies with the consequences that it could lead to exchange rate depreciation and that path through on account of a low exchange rate could, of course, impact our prices as well, domestic prices as well. So that is the consequence of tightening. And what the recession means in the U.S. is that the demand maybe for, uh, for exports from the rest of the world might come down uh, in the U.S. And therefore, the countries whose trade is tilted towards the U.S., might be affected by the weakened demand as a result of, of the recession in the U.S. Now, to what extent will that recession affect the oil prices? I mean, if the demand for, uh, for oil comes down as a result of uh, the recession, uh, economics dictates that prices might also come down. We've seen it in the case of China, where the lockdown in China has affected the demand. So the, the impact of the lockdown together with the impact of a recession are quite similar. So it could have an imp a downward impact on the oil prices at Globally. So let me hand it over to uh, EDR to talk about the tepid optimism. Thank you, uh, Governor. On the question of confidence being a tepid, uh, Bank of Uganda every the month carries out a survey on both the uh, household perception and the outlook and also for businesses. So based on that, we gauge whether the confidence is building up or it is declining. So when we say confidence is stupid, it's actually saying we are all saying that actually the way consumers or households uh, see uh, the economy and the outlook and also the way the businesses are looking at the economy and the outlook uh, is actually negative. In other words, it's declining. Compared to, say, uh, six months down the road, you see that the uh, confidence is really weak uh, compared to this. That's what we mean by confidence being tipping. And we know very well that this, this perception of the confidence that really uh, impacts on demand uh, so the demand outlook and the investment behavior agency is occasionally uh, influenced by the way the households and businesses perceive the, uh, the way the economy uh, uh, is at any, at any given time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Governor, there is another question from a journalist called Al Twaha. 
He's asking, what does the projected increase in inflation mean for government operations in the primary market going forward? Thank you, Ali. Um, let me answer your question based on the previous experiences we've seen. Um, whenever time we raise the CBR, what is likely to happen is that even the pricing of government securities in the primary market kind of like follow suit. You find that the CBR, the 91 day pressure bill, for example, kind of closely tracks what happens to the CBR. So again, um, this is based on the past experience. Now, depending of course, on how much government is willing to take in the market, how much they are offering um, you know, in the market, and then the available demand for that securities, we are likely to see um, a tracking of what's happening to the CBR. In other words, maybe the, uh, the yields are likely to shift upwards going forward. Thank you, Governor, and uh, we welcome more questions. Uh, please feel free to call in or, or chat. Uh, another question, Governor, is uh, that if the U.S. economy should go into recession, I think that has been asked. Okay, sorry, the questions have been responded to. These were already in the chat. So partners online, uh, feel free to send in your questions and they will be able to answered by, by Bank of Uganda. Okay. As we, since there are no more questions coming in, we wish to thank you for your patience and we hope that going forward, we will do more campaigns to explain this further on radios, uh, over the social media and other avenues. I am Baziz Natamba, the Acting Director Communications. Uh, thank you so much and all the best. So how fast are we going to get the recording of vision? The, the recording will be instant. It, it will be in the next short while. I think we should increase the photo. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got lost. We appreciate the summary.